Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about selection of fuses and discrimination. So first we will see the selection of fuses. What basis we are selecting the fuses. So we will see here. So these are the points we are going to discuss about the selection of fuses. So first one, you should be able to withstand momentary over current due to starting of starting a motor. So first so based on the motor rating we are selecting the fuse so to withstand the power current at the starting point and also so to avoid the transient current surges we are selecting the fuses. So how when transient current surges will occur so switching on transformers capacitors and fluorescent light etc. So to avoid the transient current surges, we are selecting the we are selecting the we are selecting the current rating of the fuses. The first one is so we need to select current rating of the fuse based on their application. So its operation must be ensured when the sustained overload or short circuit occurs. So operation must uh, be ensured. When the sustained overload so we need the fuse should be withstand overloads and short circuit occurs so overload means whenever exceeds the rated current that is called as a overload so whenever the two terminals are short circuited so whenever two terminals are connected so that is called a short circuit so those must be withstand so without any damages we should provide the proper discrimination with other protective devices so it should have some discrimination uh, other devices like uh, cost like uh, maintenance like operation wise so this should have some differences between other devices like uh, circuit breakers relays and etc so the fuse element always should depends upon the load of the circuit so load of the circuit is increased automatically the increase the current should be checked and current is exceeds the rated value then automatically it should break the supply. The purpose of production electric circuits are broadly classified as steady load circuits and fluctuating load circuits. Steady load means so constant loads fluctuating loads means uh, so loads are increasing and decreasing. So if you take uh, industries, so uh, those are comes under study load. Fluctuating loads, those are comes under uh, fluctuating loads are like um, supplying electricity to the homes. So those loads will be various uh, time to time. So people will use the electricity uh, morning time and night time. So in between they will not use. So those come those type of loads are comes under fluctuating light fluctuating loads. So based on the load, so what we have to select is based on the load, based on the current rating, so based on the um, short circuited, so based on their protectiveness, protectiveness. So we need to select the fuse. So coming to the discrimination so discrimination is one of my most important topic here so we, here we can observe in this diagram here we are using two fuses f1 and f2 major fuse minor fuse minor fuse we can we, here we are using as a backup production so whenever fault occurs that fuse must be melt so we can see here when two are more productive with devices example we can do can take it as a two fuses or one fuse and one circuit breaker using in the transmission lines transmission lines so the discrimination comes under the discrimination comes under the correct operation of the correct device on occurrence of a fault the correct operation should be operate as the correct device that is called the discrimination so other device should be act as a backup device. The 
for proper discrimination there should be coordination between the protective devices so once one device is not operated and other device uh, used to uh, protect the uh, other device is used to uh, other devices is used to protect the system okay next one so in order to obtain the proper discrimination between two adjacent fuses carries carrying the same current so the pre pre acting time of major fuse near the source must be exceed the total operation time of the minor fuse this is very important here so here major fuse uh, must exceeds the total operating time of the minor fuse minor fuse first melt and for minor fuse is not melt and second one is major fuse must be held so this is called as a discrimination discrimination is used for two protective devices mainly so one protective device is, is you can take it as a fuse and the protective device you can take as a fuse or circuit breaker so when protective device is is not uh, act then other protective device is act so like uh, uh like uh, primary and backup productions so, okay right so in here what we have taken two phases one fuse one and fuse two major fuse minor fuse and our major fuse is whenever minor fuse is not melt and major fuse should be melt and protect the devices okay so this is about uh, discrimination so we can observe the fuse connections in the diagram okay so next one here we can see the characteristics of the those two fuses so one is uh, uh, fuse one and fuse two we can take so here uh, operating time of the fuse is uh, to both the fuses are a point a so x axis we are taking time and y axis we are taking taking the, taking the current so current value is more than operating time of the fuse is less so characteristics of the fuse you can see current value is more than operating time so current value is more operating time of the fuse is less the current value is decreases the operating time of the fuse will be increase right so characteristics of overcurrent protective devices uh, shows the second part so overcurrent devices like it as a circuit breaker so it is like as a uh, fuse so which one is melt before is fuse is melt first and circuit breaker will operate in second while so capacity of the circuit breaker is uh, uh, coincide between these two phases the fuse is uh, so selected that uh, the uh, intersection of the characteristics of these two protective devices must take place at a point a corresponding to six times the full load current so full load current uh, is more than six times so we have to choose the type of fuse and the type of circuit breaker so next one um, fuse provides a backup production to the motor and con uh, connected on supply side so fuse uh, must be used as you are using as a backup production so these two so here we have two devices one is fuse and another one is circuit breaker circuit breaker is acting as a primary device and fuse acting as a secondary device so this is about uh, fuse uh, discrimination of the fuses in next video we will uh, discuss about uh, causes of over voltage lightning phenomena we have shape of over we have shape of voltage due to lightning okay thank you everyone